everyone and today I'm gonna to be going over my favorite uh, moderator tools for reddit uh, and so what that means is different extensions uh, tools bots uh, and subreddits for moderators on reddit uh, and with that I'm Kurt uh, you can find all my info down below like website Twitter Instagram all that stuff so that's that, I just want to jump right into it and first off I just want to go over that this is gonna be a video on mod tools right mod tools not on what a moderator really is I'm gonna go over that briefly, but like, if you don't know what a moderator is, they're the people that run a subreddit. And so you got basically users on the bottom, which is just whenever you create an account, you got moderators next, and that's people controlling uh, subreddits. And then you got admins on top of that. And those people work for Reddit and are basically the gods of the whole site. And then the moderators are below that, and uh, they are controlling the subreddits. They are normally volunteers 99% of the time. Uh, I think Reddit will tell you they're all volunteers, but there's some proof out there that some of them are paid, but 99% of them are just normal people like you and I working their ass off for free, volunteering for their community. And so if you are a moderator like that, uh, and you need some new tools in, in your tool belt, you wanna make sure you're doing the best job right, uh, this video is for you. I'm gonna go into a lot more details about other stuff, about mod stuff later, but this video is just gonna circle in on the tools. So first off, if you're new to being a moderator, the first thing I would say is go to this link, reddit.com slash wiki slash moderkit. Uh, it goes over a lot of reddit and moderkit for uh, mods, basically. Informal set of guidelines, but it's a good idea to read through this. Make sure you understand that's kind of what a mod should be on Reddit. That's like the gold standard, right? The do's and don'ts, basically. You know, that's what it is. Uh, this is just kind of, you know, be calm and polite, you know. Don't remove content based on your opinions. Stuff like that. Uh, if you really need an idea of what you should be doing as a mod, this is where to start. Uh, but next, we're actually getting into actual tools uh, and info. So I think one of the best things out of there, wow, I'm on, yeah, the collection. Um, mod help. So mod help is a uh, subreddit and it is amazing. It's just like a, Basically, a Q&A subreddit for moderators all over Reddit. They all get together. This wiki, though, that they built goes so in-depth. If there's something you really, if you need some more basics of being a mod, this is where you should go. This video is going to be more on tools. But they got a lot of tools and stuff in here, too. Uh, it goes so in-depth. If you need, like, a refresher, if you've been on Reddit for a while, you want to learn some new things about being a mod, go to this page, read up on it. Next, we got moderator tools. It's a mod support wiki, uh, So which is another sub, our mod support. They, uh, this is just like a good list of all the natural tools on Reddit, right? Uh, mod support is like a point of contact between like Reddit mods and the Reddit admins who actually work for Reddit getting paid. Uh, so what this does, this goes through like all the actual tools and configuration like mail, access, flare, post and stuff like that. So you can like see what Reddit actually gives you and stuff like that. Uh, cause it's good to know, like you don't really need a third party tool, right? If you're just doing a small little basic sub, but like you, you make sure you know exactly what actually Reddit allows you to do itself first before you go dive into the third party tools. You don't really need all that, right? Uh, but yeah, that this wiki, I'll link this on all these links are going to be linked below too, right? So if you need any links, just go click it there. But this just goes over, you know, all the basic stuff and it goes by groups too. great little wiki. After that, mod help, uh, another good subreddit, go here, ask some questions if you need any more. That's about it. Now, let's dive into the real tools. Toolbox, great mod tool. If you're a mod, I would definitely suggest getting Toolbox. It is a great thing. Uh, make sure, you know, everyone, if all your mods are using it in your sub, kicks ass. I and mean, whatever you guys find that fits your niche, whatever fits your needs, but Toolbox, great thing. Um, it's available, it's updated, kicks ass. Uh, definitely check our toolbox out. It just does, uh, you know, it adds a little more than just like the cumbersome, like bare bones stuff from uh, the normal Reddit moderator tools. Uh, it's just like a browser extension and it just adds on a lot of stuff over on top of what you already have. So definitely check out toolbox. That'd be my number one, obviously, and then my also tied for number one, but I don't count it as a mod tool, just because I think every user who's on Reddit should be using RES all the time. Reddit Enhancement Suite, uh, both they have uh, browser extensions for every browser, you know, Firefox, Chrome, and beyond. 
uh, definitely check out RES. If you don't know what RES is, talk through the past videos. Uh, you know, it's just a basic, it makes Reddit way better. There's more tools, more features. And then for mods as well, it adds on more tools. You should, even if you're not a moderator, RES is necessary for Reddit, in my opinion, if you're going full, full in on Reddit. Uh, yeah, definitely check that out. After that, uh, there's some smaller ones. YouTube Killer, if you're trying to block some uh, spam YouTube links, YouTube Killer, great little one I've used before. After that, I, and once again, all these are down below. Go read into them more if you wanna see how they work. A lot of these features are in some of your other mod toolboxes already, but if you don't use any of those specific toolboxes and you just need like a YouTube killer, that's like what this would be for, right? Uh, you know, you gotta think about that. Do I need the whole toolbox? Do I need all this? Or do I just need this one little thing? Then try this out. After that, uh, we have SEO Nuke. Uh, it's just kind of removes a ton of spam from your subreddit, right? Check it out. Uh, can just use you throw some links up there. Uh, you can add it in, and boom, just kills it real quick. After that, uh, the Sentinel bot, um, Sentinel bots from Layer Seven. It's just like another, you know, tools, features, and a lot of extra stuff. Uh, pretty good bot. Uh, not really used by many people, but uh, I think it's a, the main guy who uses it. He moderates a bunch of subs with it, so he almost makes it for himself. Does a lot of things. It's not as fancy as a lot of the other toolboxes, but just gets the job done pretty quick. I don't actually use Sentinelbot, but I, I know other people that do, so put it here. Um, bot bust. If you've you got some annoying-ass bots, I mean, sometimes they just come on your sub. Quick way to ban them from uh, posting bot bust. Uh, just check it out. If you Normally, a lot of other tools you're using have this stuff in it anyways, but uh, you know, just hunts down the useless comment bots, removes their comments, and bans them from the subreddit. Pretty much exactly what it sounds like. All right, after that, we got Mod Soup. Uh, I probably wouldn't even really recommend this one. Some people use it though. It's here, they update it. Um, and apparently it's gotten way better. I haven't used it in a bit, but check out Mod Soup. Uh, it's, a, it's a moderator tool. I don't really know much about it, but I've heard other people say good things about it. Check it out, I'll link that one below too. And after that, uh, uh, we got Reddit mod nuke extension for Chrome. Uh, I'm on Firefox right now, that's why it's saying that. But it, it works in, uh, if you need to do some mod nukes, check this one out too, great little thing. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, just, you wanna just kill some bad comment threads, you know? Delete, delete. Puts a nuke icon on it, so it's a little like blip, and you just click it and it just, Boom! It's all gone, right? Uh, that's a cool little one. Very quick to install. Very easy to use. Um, that's about it. I haven't actually checked if it works with the new update. Uh, I don't really. The, a lot of the other toolbox. Like if you use Toolbox, it like has a similar feature, right? So it all depends on what you want. If you just need this, it, it all depends on your community, your specific needs. That's what all this. And finally, the one I saved for last, of course the famous auto moderator uh auto mod is great to set up uh definitely will help you out especially if you're growing subreddit you can program it get it um like flaring stuff you know getting some posts does all this stuff it's like it, you, you need it for your subreddits right you do not uh you, you, you i i think this auto moderator is the best bot out there and I think it's better than, I think it's more important than any of the other tools I've talked about. Obviously Toolbox and RES are just like great to have, but Auto Moderator makes you not even have to worry about things, right? It can go wrong. I've seen Auto Moderator go wrong though. I, I mean, I've had posts that are just banned, but all it takes is the, you just message the auto mod, the mods and just be like, hey, Auto Moderator was wrong. And they'll look at it and like, oh yeah, it was. And they'll undo it. Uh, obviously, you can go too far with Auto Moderator. I've seen a lot of subs that are just too, like the Auto Moderator just very destructive with it. Uh, it's, a, it's a push and pull, but definitely learn Auto Moderator, learn to love it, put it on your sub, kick ass with it. Uh, this would be my number one recommendation with Toolbox after that. Uh, and RES is like number like more than one because it's like you should just be using that already beyond moderatorship. 
Uh, but yeah, those are all the tools I really wanted to talk about today for moderators. Beyond that, if you guys have any good tool ideas that I missed, please put them below. I would love to see any extra tools that I'm not even knowing about. Um, and really read through those wiki pages. This, the, this, was, this video was made for like people who are already mods that need some extra support. But if you're new to being a Reddit moderator, maybe I'll make a video for that later. Maybe put some questions below what you're also looking for. But read those wikis that I linked. And of course, all the wikis, uh, all the links will be down below. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys if you could like and subscribe. All right, have a great day. Thanks.